What's up guys, welcome back to another video. So this video we're gonna be going over the trades that made me lose $50,000. Well not literally, but you guys will see further in the video what I mean. Swing Trading Lab course, um, coming soon. I don't know when, I've been in the making literally all of 2021. I've been building more data, more content, getting more feedback from you guys so I can build the best course possible. To get it at a discount of price on the launch date, make sure to click the waiting list in the link in the description below. When am I gonna come out with it? I don't know yet. I'm still building it, still kind of making it all dope. What I do know is that it's gonna be different, like no other course course ready for it's gonna be a real community of traders I'm gonna let you guys some run the classes show people how a normal person can actually come onto the platform and then not only learn it but be profitable because you guys know I go live every single day in the signals or learn and learn whatever you guys want to call it and then I there's only so much I could teach in those classes right so by morning zooms and the signals it's probably around like 10 15 minutes long because I just break down the charts so you guys what I'm looking at and then I move on um, but this is different there will be actual live hour-long webinars discussing the content in the course review any questions you have that you might have when the pre-recorded videos and then we actually go live with it when uh, the, the webinars happen but all of that will be in the waiting list so make sure to join the waiting list below so I can show you guys when I do come out with it you guys will be getting that discounted kind of price I don't know when it's gonna come out I've just been working so hard for it. I want to make it perfect I'm a perfectionist in a way I like my stuff coming out right on the money so um, yeah let's just get with the rest of the video we're gonna go eat go get some stuff at Publix maybe and then let's just get into the webinar or breakdown whatever all right see you guys so this is the shit you only see in miami mantaditos whatever that means <laughs> kind of sus this is this is what i will be eating all the time ah! oh my god look at this that's why i love eating at my cuban places always hooking it up Oh, shit, I was still fucking over. So that? Oh my god, it's fucking cool. What's up guys, so now that we're here in the charts, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. So before we get into the charts, you guys can literally tell, we're in a new office, right? So I used to come from a little, little office. I'll probably be popping up some little screenshots around here. Now I've upgraded, you know, I've been working very, very hard throughout not only 21, but since 2018 to, you know, to level up. Now that I've gotten here, I actually have a full office. Now I have my 75 TV here. I have my full three monitor setup. Finally, I'm probably gonna put a 49 on top. So I'll be showing you guys a little office tour of it. So you guys get a little more update. Make sure to follow me on Instagram. I'm gonna put a little couch over here, a little basketball hoop. I have a whole setup coming in. Um, but yeah, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Always giving away stuff. Uh, I might give away my old monitor. Not, wait, let me see. Not the bag, yeah, the bag is pretty inspected. But the monitors, this is my old monitors. Uh, my previous 27, I think it's 240. Something like that. I don't know. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I lost 50,000 or probably even more. Not actually lose. I didn't lose the money, but I missed all of these trades, right? Because I was in the whole moving process. But I'm going to be showing you guys how simple these trades are. I've literally called these trades every single day on my Instagram story. For those of you guys that are in my signals or the learning learning, you guys literally saw me call this live every single day. But my schedule was all messed up because I was moving. But I'm going to be showing you guys the simplicity of these moves and how you guys could catch them and how I will not miss them again, even if I'm doing anything. I could be out of space. I'm gonna be plugging in these trades. So let's start off with USD JPY, right? So obviously the move has already happened. So I'm gonna kind of be showing you guys where I'm gonna get in. I'm not gonna be doing the whole bar replay because I feel like that it kind of looks almost like fake because it's like, oh, you predicted the move because you already saw it. No, I'm gonna be showing you guys after it already happened and show you guys what I was looking at it before it did to show you guys how simple it is and how it played out, right? So UJ on the weekly time from here, you can tell we were previously, obviously before this bearish candle. So let's say if we do the bar replay, you can see here how we have this very, very strong bullish weekly push, right? But what does it for me is we are having this weekly push after breaking round psychological 11400 along with resistance, 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 resistance out here, right? So each of these are a weekly candlestick. So for right here, you have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, almost eight candlesticks. So this is two months that price was stuck at this level. You look left, same exact thing, one, two, three, four, five. So about a month and a week. And then freaking alarm. And then it goes, you see here, another three, almost another couple months here rejecting from round psychological level, right? So after having that push to the upside, I'm like, 
bro you go down to the daily time frame and you literally see we never came back and retested it obviously we're doing it now but previously we had never done it we had broken above it and we just continue pushing high i'm like all right that's that's nice that's all cool but it's gonna have a retracement just the probabilities of it coming back to retest this area are very very high notice these retracements this is just a magnet price has to have this retracement it doesn't have to but the probabilities of having it are much higher than not and it's just very simple we are creating bullish structure we're creating highs and lows highs and lows it is almost beautiful having this higher low to this level here obviously you guys can already expect what we're waiting for next which is very very simple we have a beautiful daily rejection for 114 rejection from eight daily ma but all of this i do it in the learn and learn for current price but i'm gonna show you guys what i was looking for before right so after we had this beautiful daily evening star formation rejection from a high also if you want to say around psychological Around psychological level of 16600 you could but it wasn't right on the money but then this is where i go down to the four hour and you can literally see the shift just look at the shift in the four hour you notice i hear how the four hour is creating high then we have a lower low lower high lower low lower high at this point right here i'm still not interested in taking shorts just due to the fact that we are quote unquote creating a double bottom if you want to look at it at the wig so if you go down to the lower time frames it does look like it's creating a double bottom rejection the ema and it could continue pushing higher it could continue having a next high i personally was waiting for a break under this level here a very much how we did so i was waiting for a break under this body structure to then come and create another lower high and then now we're rejecting previous structure and now we're having a four hour market shift so this is where i went down to the lower time frames either the two hour or the one hour and then just does not get any more beautiful than this so as you as you can see we waited for it to break this level right here after breaking this market structure right here we wait for the retracement to then create the lower high to reject this level so this is where i go down to the one hour and then you literally notice how on the lower time frames what i repeat day in and day out in the signals the learner where i go live every day you see the shift creating high double bottom then we have a lower low after having the lower low then we have a beautiful lower high come back didn't retrace and reject this perfectly but we have a beautiful bearish engulfing rejecting this level rejecting the one hour ema let's say you wanted to be a little bit higher risk you literally have a perfect entry signal right here you have a very nice triple top one two three what do we get we get a break from the triple top also a head and shoulders if you want to call it after the break of the triple top we come back retest the neckline of the triple top which if you look left it is also a level of resistance support support and then we reject the one hour ema then you have your entry signal reject like everything is just there confirming that this is now going to shift to the downside right but then let's say you didn't manage to get at this entry here fine that's okay you now wait for the next lower high to present itself so the next lower high that presented itself was at this level it came up again a little bit higher than anticipated i had my level drawn out like this and i wanted to come back and reject this level but same exact thing you go down to the lower time frames you see how it rejected perfectly structure and then you have your rejection signal from your ema and then structure again you go down you see your beautiful evening star formation but at this time this is already when i was kind of settled in everything was already moved into the apartment we had then broken Round psychological 11500 i'm like all right bet that's beautiful you're seeing price like this what are you anticipating the same thing i'm anticipating now a lower high to come in retest round like round psychological 11500 retest structure which is support 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 resistance and then by the time that price does start climbing back into this level here like this then this four hour ema will then be used as resistance to head to the downside obviously not all of that played out as you can see it just continued having a push to the downside but now that we're at this level we're going to be looking for longs but i'll be doing maybe another video on this um later on in the future but this is how i missed it, no, i think i missed about like 20 something thousand on this trade right here because i was gonna hold this trade from point one right here because my area of interest of buying was at 11400 so if i get the shorts at the top i'm holding all the way to where i'm looking to buy so let's say i had a stop loss anywhere here from 30 to let's just put a solid 30 pips and i have a one to five risk to reward you could just do the math like it's 
<laughs> the money would have been ridiculous. I would have gotten out sniper entry. I would have missed a little bit of profits. I guess let's say I would have squeezed it out for the extra 2%. I probably would have not done that. I would have probably just stuck to getting out around psychological 114 and just calling it a trade. But now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be waiting for, you know, some retracements and then to continue this trade with the overall trend. Now, moving on to the next pair, which was so clean. I didn't manage to get in just again, simply because I wasn't on my phone and that is AUD USD, right? Obviously now we're back at the area where I would have gotten in. But for those of you guys, I saw my Instagram highlights. Literally, I had this drawn like this. I had this level right here. And then all I said was beautiful resistance support. What are we expecting? The next push to the upside. So at the time that I drew that, I'm sure you can just picture it already. It was high, high, low, high and higher low. I had it drawn exactly like this. Literally it's this exact same move, just obviously a little bit bigger. So this is where I went down to the lower time frame, such as the four hour time frame. And then you see here how the four hour shifted. And after the shift, I anticipated for it to break above this strong level of support, resistance, resistance, and then come back and retest it, retest the EMA. And then obviously I just didn't manage to get this trade anywhere around this level just because I wasn't active on the charts at that time. But this is another trade that would have easily, let's say I would have not gotten in in after this four hour bullish candle right here. Let's say I would have gotten in right here with the, I would probably done like a 50 pip stop loss. And then I would have probably targeted either structural number one, or I would have targeted my TPs, which uh, was somewhere around here the, from the first fib, where was it? So, oh yeah, somewhere around this level, somewhere around here. So I would have gotten this entry, if I had not gotten in, then I would have gotten in with my entry anywhere around here, with then a much, much tighter stop loss, because obviously we would have been adjusting it and having it shorter. And this would have been another very, very nice trade. But the one that would have really made us the profits was UJ, simply because we were selling this retracement back to the strong level of resistance. When you see price break a strong level of resistance like this, just expect for it to come back. It doesn't have to, but it's just proven. Go ahead, back test it as many times as you want. It's such a strong level that it almost requires that retracement to then create a base so it, price can establish itself to then continue the push to the upside. If not, what's pushing it up? It's just going up basically off of thin air. So this is kind of the breakdown of the two trades that would have made me a lot, a lot of money. Um, for those of you that don't know, I had my biggest day about three, four weeks ago or almost for 60K. So that was honestly pretty intense. This would have probably been another 50, 60, 70, who knows? depending on the lot size that I would have thrown or how much I was risking at the account at the time. But um, this just shows we're just starting 2022 and we're already getting these very nice moves. So I'm excited for what the rest of the year has to bring. If you guys like this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. What else do you guys want to see? If you guys want to win the PC, or should I even give away a used PC? I don't know if I should do it. I mean, it's brand new. I just put it on the mount and then I just trade. It's not banged up or anything. It's literally brand new. I just upgraded to other ones that were a little bit bigger. Um, so if you guys want any of that just let me know in the comments below um and yeah i'll be seeing you guys in the next video thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys later